Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to discuss about advanced link you in C-Sharp.net every developer must know. So let's get started. So today's agenda is number one, link you extension methods. Number two, grouping and aggregating data. Number three, dynamic link queries. Number four, deferred versus immediate execution. Number five, advanced query operators. Number six, performance optimization techniques. Number seven, advanced link queue to SQL. So let's dig in. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Okay, so what is Language Integrated Query? Language Integrated Query is a powerful feature in c that allows developers to query various data sources using a consistent syntax. In this video, we will explore some advanced link queue techniques to help you level up your skills and write more efficient code. All right, let's move towards the first topic, custom extension methods. By creating your own extension methods, you can encapsulate complex logic and reuse it throughout your application. To create a custom extension method, you need to create a static method in a static class and use the this keyword before the type parameter. So example is here, filter by length. Okay, now aggregate functions. Link you provides several aggregate functions to perform operations on collections such as sum, min, max, and average. So here's an example of count and any. The count function returns the number of elements in a collection that satisfy a given condition while the any function checks if any elements in the collection satisfy the condition. So here's an example of count and any. So sum, min, max, and average. These functions can be used on collections of numeric data types or with a selector function to calculate the aggregate value of a specific property. So here's an example of sum, min, max, average. Okay, now the next topic is grouping and aggregating data. Link you provides methods to group and aggregate data based on a specific properties or conditions. So number one example is group by method. The group by method allows you to group elements in a collection based on a key selector function. The result is a collection of groups, each containing elements with the same key value. So here's an example of group by category. The second example is group join method. The group join method allows you to perform a group join between two collections based on a key selector function for each collection. So here's an example of group join on customers. Right, the third topic is dynamic link queue queries. Using the dynamic link queue library, you can create queries at runtime by providing query strings or expression. Dynamic sorting and grouping using dynamic link queue. You can also perform dynamic sorting and grouping of data. So here's the example. Using dynamic link queue library to use dynamic link queue library, you need to install the system dot link queue dot dynamic dot core and you get package. Dynamic expressions and predicates. With the dynamic link queue library, you can create dynamic expressions and predicates in your link queue queries. So here's an example of dynamic where. So the fourth topic is deferred versus immediate execution. Link queue supports two type of query execution, deferred and immediate. Deferred execution benefits defer execution means that the query is not executed until the results are enumerated. This can lead to performance improvements as the query query is the only executed when necessary. So here's an example of deferred execution. Immediate execution benefits. Immediate execution means that the query is executed as soon as it's defined. This can be useful when the results need to be cached or if the data source might change before the results are enumerated. 
So here is example of immediate execution. All right, let's move towards fifth topic, advanced query operators. LinQ provides several advanced query operators to perform complex operations on collections. So number one is distinct and reverse. The distinct method returns a collection of unique elements based on a specified key selector, while the reverse method reverses the order of elements in a collection. So here's an example of unique and reversed. Skip and take. The skip and take method can be used to implement paging in your LinQ queries. So here's an example of skip and take. And number third is concat and union. The concat and union methods can be used to merge two collections. So here's the example of concatenation. It's merging the data. All right, let's move towards the sixth topic, performance optimization techniques. There are several techniques to optimize the performance of your link queue. So number one is indexing and partitioning. You can optimize your link queue queries by using indexing and partitioning techniques, which can significantly improve the performance of your queries especially when working with the large data sets. So here's an example of indexing. Number second is caching reserves with as enumerable. Using as enumerable, you can cache the result of query to avoid re-executing it multiple times. So here's an example. All right, number third is using compile queries. Compile queries can improve performance by caching the query plan for a specific query. This can be especially useful for frequently executed queries. So here's an example of compile query. Okay, now the last topic is advanced link you to SQL. LinkU to SQL allows you to query relational databases using LinkU. So number one is multi-threading and parallelism. LinkU to SQL supports multi-threading and parallelism to improve query performance. Using the as parallel method, you can execute a LinkU query across multiple threads to take advantage of multi-core processor. So here's an example of parallel execution. We are using as parallel method. Number two is querying complex data types. You can use LinQ to SQL to query complex data types such as XML data. So here's an example. We are querying XML document using LinQ. Okay, now number third is for stored procedure and functions. LinQ to SQL allows you to call stored procedures and functions from your .NET code. This can improve performance and enable you to reuse existing database logic. So here's an example. We are executing or calling stored procedure. Okay, number four is transaction management. LinQ to SQL supports transaction management to ensure data consistency. So here's an example. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the advanced LinQ in C sharp.net and don't forget to use in them your code. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com slash start dash now. Thank you.